right, y'all. Let's let's keep it moving, man. We uh, this is your boy Phoenix, man. We just gonna keep things flowing. Thank y'all for joining with me today, man. Grab yourself a snack and uh, let's just get into it. So uh, yeah, man. This uh, this new Spider-Man game, I uh, you know, I touched on it a, a little while back, and you know, um, I showed some footage off in my last video. Showing off the new Insomniac Spider-Man game. Uh, so yeah, man, I, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I, uh, I'm very excited about this game. Um, you know, to me, the last, the last handful of Spider-Man games has just been very, eh, you know, they've been either just good or just okay. Um, you know, in my opinion, I still don't think there's been a great Spider-Man game. That's, that's just been, in my opinion, we've had some good ones, you know, the, the Web of Shadows, obviously the infamous Spider-Man 2, I thought Ultimate Spider-Man was real good, um, you know, that was a, uh, it was an underrated game in my opinion, I think it kind of, it got overshadowed by 2, and then the fact that the game was short, you know, it had, it had a short story mode to it, but, so yeah, you know, we've had a mix of good games, we had a mix of, of bad games, um, I'm still waiting for that, you know, definitive, I guess, Arkham City, you know what I'm saying, like, on the level of like an Arkham game, you know, I, I feel like this is the time that, um, I, I think Spider-Man fans need that, you feel me, so, so yeah, I just, um, go you know go down the list i got some bullet points i want to address man and you know we'll just take it from there so what we know so far we know that insomniac is developing this game um most of us here know who insomniac is um you know they've done the ratchet and clank series they did sunset overdrive i believe they yes they did do resistance on the ps3 so, Somniac is developing it. They have been working on the game for about two years now. We do know it is a 2017 release, and that was confirmed uh, by the guys on Insomniac on their Twitters, their official Twitter pages. Um, some things a lot of people may not know. Um, shortly after the E3 reveal, um, one of the guys, I believe it was the creative director, did say that this would be a series of games. So, this one game that we're getting now is not going to be the only one. This is going to be a series. Now, we don't know if that means a trilogy. We don't, you know, only they know that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, over in that studio. Um, if I had to take a guess, I could see this turning into a trilogy. Sort of like, um, you know, what they did with the Arkham games, if you exclude Origins. Um, you know, I actually, I actually thought Origins was a good game, man. I don't know why that game got, got shitted on, but in, in terms of the Rocksteady official games, it was a trilogy. So, that's what I mean by, you know, when I say that in that sense, but anywho... So yeah, Insomniac's making it. It is confirmed 2017, and this will be a series of games. This is not the only one. So that's that's pretty much all we know right now. Um, they will be at GDC. Now, to what capacity? Uh, I don't know. If I had to take a guess, most likely what they'll do probably is have like a. Uh, a PowerPoint type presentation because if you go back throughout their, their history that's what they've done they did that with Sunset Overdrive they did that with um, the Ratchet & Clank reboot so we're probably going to see some concept art they're probably going to talk about the story we may get a little bit of, of footage but I'm not I'm not really uh, getting my hopes up for that shit we probably won't see any like, you know, legit gameplay 
until E3 probably. But I could be wrong, and in this case, I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, if I just had to, you know, make an educated guess on what that's going to be at GDC, we're probably going to see some kind of, um, pop, you know, some kind of presentation. Just kind of showing off, you know, the... Uh, you know, just showing off the basics, like I said, concept art, some story details, things of that nature, right? So, uh, um, let me see what else, man. So, yeah, uh, Somniac. Um, you guys are asking, you know, how I feel about Somniac. Um, I, th I think they're a great studio. Um, Somniac, you know, they make quality games that's the one thing since day one you know they take their time and polish their games they make creative games um uh, you look at all their games besides resistance you know their games are very colorful and 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 rich you know their games have have life to them you feel me they you know the colors pop you you feel they, they, they do a great job of immersion, immersing you in that world. You feel me? So, you know, in terms of, you know, how I feel about Insomniac, um, I'm very confident that, you know, they're going to do a great job. They really haven't given me any reason to doubt them yet. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and the other thing, too... I think the timing of it just just really kind of came together, you dig? Because, you know, they're known for their cartoony, quirky type games, which is perfect for Spider-Man because Spider-Man's been, you know, Spider-Man's always been, you know, kind of, uh, I guess, quirky, you know? Spider-Man, you know, he, he's always going to make jokes. He's, you know, Spider-Man's always kind of been more of a, uh, I don't know how to say. It, it never really took itself too seriously. Now, did you have darker, more serious arcs than others? Yeah, but, you know, when you think Spider-Man, you think of, you know, cartoony, colorful. You know, Spider-Man's going to talk shit and be sarcastic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I think Insomniac, you know, goes perfect with that whole vibe because that's, that's really true to who they are as a studio. Now, um, so I think, you know, between them doing Ratchet and Clank, and then now they just got done doing Sunset Overdrive, which is open world and it follows a lot of parkour. So we know that on that front, they can do a great job in terms of creating a, a vibrant open world. And we know the movement and the parkour is gonna be fluid. Fluid, excuse me. For anybody that's played that game or has just seen gameplay. So I think it just kinda all came together at the right time, like all their past projects kind of you know what I'm saying help prepare them for this see what I'm saying so yeah man I um you know it's probably the first time in a while where a Spider-Man game was getting released and I like I just feel comfortable with the developer like when I saw Insomniac I said okay I don't, I, you know, I don't have any doubt. I don't, you know, because like when being Knox was making the games, I'm just like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I was kind of iffy and is this shit going to be good? Is it going to be terrible? You know, <laughs> excuse me, but, uh, you know, with this, it's a known developer. They're going to take their time. And because it's an exclusive, you know, they, they don't have like a deadline, you know, Sony's gonna allow them the time that they need to polish this game up. So, 
with that. Uh, so the main thing, uh, features, man. Uh, what kind of features would I like to see? What kind of features can we expect to see in this game? Um, here's my take on it. I think... I think this first game, I think it's going to be a good game. Now, stay understand what I'm saying here. I think it's going to be a good start or foundation. I don't think it's going to be, you know, an amazing blow the doors off game, not just yet. I think this is going to be a very good, like I said, start or intro. And I think by the time we get to the second game, third game, that's when shit's gonna go down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause like, when you look at the arc of games, cause a lot of people are comparing this to Arkham and saying, you know, we want this to be the Arkham of Spider-Man games. You know, the first one, uh, Arkham Asylum, it was a good game, but it wasn't like amazing you know but then once they went to arkham city it was just like damn you know what i'm saying i think we're gonna see the same thing here i think the first one's gonna be really good it's gonna establish that foundation and then once that sequel hits i think that's when they're gonna you know step their shit up for sure um so yeah, features wise, you know, uh, my, my main thing with the features, I want a great story, a story I can get immersed in. Um, in terms of villains, I want quality over quantity. Because if you notice with a lot of Spider-Man games, what do they do? They cram like five or six villains into the story and it ends up being the mess. So I'd rather see like two good villains that have a really good story than five or six that are just kind of there. You feel me? Um, so yeah, a great story. You know, I want to see... Like I said, less villains that have, have a quality story to them. I want to see great combat. I want to see combat that's fast, that's fluid, and that puts us back in control. You know, because when you, when you go back to the Amazing Spider-Man games, to me, that shit just felt like autopilot. It was like you just click one button and... You know, he does some gymnastic shit. <laughs> you understand? I didn't really feel like I was in control of shit. Um, you know, I, I would love to see something like Web of Shadows, man. To me, like, that was it. I mean, that combat was so filthy, like... <laughs> they should they have had a label on the box, man. Shower after use. <laughs> Because that combat was straight filthy, man. Um, you know, the web zip. How you can link your combos together. You can fight on the side of buildings. I mean, the shit was just crazy. I think... If they could take some blueprints from that and just upgrade that. To, to give it that next-gen vibe, man. I think that could really be something special. Um... That's the main thing. I want a great story. You know, interesting villain arcs and, and great combat. Those are the main three features I think they need to get down first. Um, I'm probably going to do a second video where I go more into depth about other features. But these are like the main foundation features. You see, you see what I'm saying? That they need to get down first. So, um, but yeah, man, we, uh, I, I think, uh, I think this is going to be a good one, man. I think this is going to be a, a new era.
four Spider-Man games. Um, like I said, I think the last couple have just been okay. Um, you know, I thought Amazing Spider-Man 2 was mediocre at best. You know, they just, they just, a lot of them have felt like rentals, so hopefully, you know, this could be the first game in a while that it's like, okay, Spider-Man's here, you know, it's back, you see what I'm saying, and it's about to do its thing, so you guys let me know, man, uh, what do you think, how do you feel about Insomniac as a studio? Do you think this is going to be the great series that we've been yearning for, or is it just going to be business as usual? Let me know uh, what features you like to see. Um, if you could create a feature in a Spider-Man game, something new that we haven't seen before, what, what would it be? You know? Um, if you could add an element, a mechanic, anything costume type mechanic you know anything what would it be man I you know I love to see you guys thoughts and, and you know I always love to see creativity man I want this to be a place of creativity and, and expression for sure so but y'all let me know what you think man um, you know I'm gonna have more videos as we uh, get more information and Hopefully, like I said, probably by E3 we can, uh, you know, get the, uh, get the meat and potatoes, you know, get some real gameplay on the table, so. But alright y'all, man, this is your boy Phoenix, be easy. I got soul, and I'm super bad. I got soul, and I'm super bad.